Well, I see things more happening around Dark Films production is going to spread a lot of universe stuff, hmm? Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and it's going to be another reveal I'm going to work on soon, and this is the first one. We're going to do a lot of theory stuff or reviews on Dark Films Productions newest upcoming Minecraft movies are going to come this year to next year. So, here we go. There's going to be a Baldi movie, which that teaser trailer was made by Chris. Who was he was going to be the one to make this film in 100% animation. But that didn't happen. It was supposed to come out like last year in that time. But nothing didn't happen. And um, now they decided to give it to another director. Who is going to work on this movie. Going back to play. Going to work on a little bit few animations. But being too much of a gameplay footage. That kit is going to be the director, the team up, and the writer of this movie. And I am going to be as Baldi. Because you know how it's easy to make a Baldi sound, right? Oh, Wendy, I have a ruler with your name on it. Something like that, you know? I mean, last time I recorded my voice, the whole lines, I did it fast. Because that voice of Baldi was somehow easy to uh, record. And I gotta cut a few lines because I had a little bit of trouble with time to to record some of the lines, which I go a little bit too fast. But I'm fine with it. And the plot for this movie is very simple, which is much bit like the game, but to a different direction, adding a little bit few more characters. And I don't want to spoil all the fun, which I only give a little bit few ideas for what this movie is gonna be, which is gonna be rated R. Which means there will be some little bit few blood shit. And even a lot of cuss. Cause Radiant Art stuff show a lot of cuss. And next, we're going for the Minecraft movie. Minecraft the movie. Which they're planning on that since last year. The first teaser trailer was very simple where Steve is writing down something on a book. Until Hereby just appeared behind him. And it ends there. In which, that movie is going to be different as well for all the other stories. Christian is going to be a director, well mostly, mostly, that he will be set to direct the film and possibly his last directional film. Which means, the My Cut movie he's making, it will be the last time he will make a My Cut movie. Because he's going to give all these other movies to other people. So they can spread out a lot of work they've been doing in production of dark films which means this channel is not gonna be just one person just working all this there's gonna be a lot of people working their own movie po posting on this one channel or if they have their own other channel that's connected somehow but it's going to do something next so chris which i know him who made the finance of freddy's movies before who is now going to make the minecraft movie his last and I kind of sad to hear that. I mean, I was like, I kind of like the way how he did for his previous movies, but I can't believe this is going to be his last. So, the story for the plot is going to be very, very crazy. I mean, a lot of people think it's just simple for Steve going around to explore and learn secrets and then hunt down Inner Dragon or whatnot. Very simple in the gameplays. Or rather, it's going to add more enemies. Add Alex in the movie. Add Hero Brian, which Notch and Mojang didn't make. But it was made by a fan of Minecraft who wants to make his own type of character. Somehow became so popular somehow. And then here we are for make for them to make this Minecraft movie. I don't because there will be plans if this movie is going to be very, very long because it's gonna be a lot of stuff adding to this movie. And it's gonna add universe of because if this movie gets itself a sequel, I have a feeling there are going to be new or enemies that's shown in other Minecraft universes. Which there will be an idea of having no or entity fee for free. Which those characters are probably like made in creepypasta style or other universe. 
but that's all because I don't want because I don't know what this movie is gonna be which I'm so excited for this and I can't wait for the effect fight up which are going to be full animations I can't wait and next is Final Fantasy free movie ever since the Curse of Spring Chap movie came out days ago in which it was a good one short movie that could end Mike's story from there ending all the characters who survived from the first movie and then introduce the new characters who would face the same enemy who survived this whole time becoming a Springtrap in which I'm going back to play a Springtrap in which I need to uh redo my voice a bit give a little bit more of a William Afton style or something else if they if I am going to have a call on Discord with Chris or Kit or the rest of the creators of this movie to uh they're going to ask me to like hey uh can you make this type of voice like I'm Springtrap or I'm Springtrap or to a deeper way think of something like that if you're going on Discord they're going to talk with the director producer to help you what your character may sound like so that sort of thing and the movie it's going to be something epic as well, which there will be plans if it, the movie is going to be two hours long or three hours long because they're going to plan on having a big theme park where you can explore and then go a little bit more things for uh, flashbacks and uh, more locations to explore because this story from the main character is the daughter of Mike Schmidt, which she, which I think is some idea similar to other people's movies. That she's going to uh, go to previous locations that have been abandoned and she's going to learn things about what happened to her father. Which she never ever even never gets to meet. Which is kind of sad. But yeah, she's probably going to explore other locations, previous pizzerias, diners that have been closed. And then probably, probably going to an abandoned location of sister location. In which she might learn what happened to her father or how he got scooped. Because she didn't learn anything about much about him. So they're probably going to have sister locations and uh, more chase scenes around the theme park if, I don't know, that <laughs> roller coaster stuff or um, other places you can go to which are going to be something epic. And I don't know because I gotta say it's going to be epic. And now we're going with the Crypto, crypto Skill, a Sundown Reboot. Ever since there was a plan for Sundown 3, a sequel after Sundown 2, which there was going to be a plan for that idea, which that was cancelled already so fast, and then introduced the reboot. The first reboot already came out, and it's planned on getting a sequel, if it is. Hmm. I was confused on why, because, and because you're adding too many characters, too many ideas for your creature, this Wendigo guy is going, at, going after next. More locations or running out of ideas for the story. It it will take time to work on a story, of course. But I'm very, very, very excited for this sequel for the reboot. And next, we're going with the create Joy of Creation Reborn, which is a sequel after the event of Joy of Creation. Which this movie, like we already see a little bit few teaser scenes of the movie, which. Our character, who was the same guy from the first movie, who uh, got been arrested because I think because after the police came in, because the neighbor somehow called the police because there was like an attack, until they discover they think that it was the father, the husband, who killed his own parents, our family, for no reason, because the son was killed in the ending of the first movie, and they think he think the father is the killer so they arrest him but we don't know what happens next if he's going to escape or rather he's getting hunted down by the joy creation animatronics because they know he's the one who blew up the pizzeria and they're going to get revenge on him and, and I don't know if William Hampton is going to show up if he is maybe not if it's just going to be simple just him and the animatronics which are going to hunt him down if it's going to have something a little bit similar to the original game a bit, but do it do a different direction, but I'm very excited. I'm still waiting for the Bully Killer movie, which I have a theory which ever since that trailer came out last 
or two years ago or something. And I think they only those scenes were that show in the trailer were the only scenes they made, which means they have recorded all the footage. And they haven't yet finished it because they were busy on other movies or other projects they were planning on. Yeah, that sort of thing, I guess. And that's all I got for this video, folks. I hope you enjoy it. And I can't wait to come back as Springtrap, which I always come back. Yeah, can't believe I'm going to be a Springtrap who's going to fight off Mike Schmidt's daughter. That sort of thing. So, even I'm excited for the Baldy movie, which I'm going to be as Baldy, because I have a feeling any characters I'm going to play as, I'm going to always be a villain type. Which, do don't, that doesn't have a good laugh. After or not. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.